Hello everyone, hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. So today we are going to start our fourth week of digital IT security, defense against the dark arts, which is offering from Google and this course is available in Coursera. Okay, so today basically we are going to learn about the secure network architecture. Okay, so the first practice quiz of secure network architecture, we are going through this. So the first quiz, there are seven questions and the first question is why is normalizing log data is important in centralizing logging setup okay so the answer of this question will be uniformly formatted logs are easier to store and analyze okay so if you went through the lecture videos this will be more easier for you guys I don't need to illustrate or demonstrate this I think okay so what type of attacks does a flood guard protect against and these are actually seen flood and DDoS or denial of service defense of denial of service attacks okay so what is DHCP snooping what does DHCP snooping protect against okay so this DHCP snooping basically protect against rough DHCP server attacks what does dynamic ARP inspection or DAI protect against ARP poisoning attacks the answer will be number two what does IP source guard protect against? IP source guard protect against IP spoofing attack. And you guys should remind these questions or these MCQs very carefully because you will find these questions again in your final assessment. What is EAP TLS use of mutual authentication of both the server and the client? These are the digital certificates. Why it is recommended to use both a network based and host based firewalls? Click all that apply. For protection against man in the middle no this answer will be the pro for the protection of mobile services like laptops and for protection against compromised host on the same network okay so we are basically done with this one so we are going to the wireless security which is basically the next uh topic of this week four and we are also going to the questions okay so the first question of wireless security is what are the some weaknesses of wep shim it is basically an rc4 stream cipher and it's a poor key generation methods and it also uses IV or for full size which is basically not that much large okay so what symmetric encryption algorithm does WPA2 use they use AES wireless protocol access what how can you reduce the likelihood of WPS brute force attacks okay so basically implement the lockout periods uh, for incorrect attempts and disable WPS these two are the answers Okay, so select the most secure Wi-Fi security configuration from below. This is WPA2 Enterprise. And that's all from, from your wireless security. So we are going to our next topic. So which is basically network monitoring. So in network monitoring, you will find more five questions. The first question is, what does TCP dump do? It analyzes packets and provides textual analysis and also capture packets. The second question, what does Wireshark do? differently from TCP dump it is a graphical interfa interface and then it understands more application level protocols number three what factor should you consider when designing an IDS installation check all that apply the storage capacity and traffic bandwidth will be the answer what is the difference between an intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system okay so the answer will be an IDS or intrusion detection system alert can alert on detected attack of traffic but IPS, which is prevention system, can actively block traffic. One can alert and another can block. Okay, so what factor would limit your ability to capture packets? Check all that apply. Network interface, network interface will not be in promiscuous or monitor mode. Okay, so the first one and the access to the traffic in question. So this two will be the answer. So we are going to our next topic or you can say the final assessment and the final assessment we have 17 questions so that's a really a large mcq so luckily i can obtain 100 percent grade by practicing more the lecture videos if you guys do you can also obtain okay so the first question what traffic would an implicit deny firewall rule block this will be everything not will be allowed there so the question the answer of the question will be everything is not allowed the process of converting log entries field log entry fields into a standard format is called log normalizing normalization or normalizing whatever you say okay so a flood guard 
can protect your network from denial of service attacks. Using of VLANs, different VLANs from a network service, network devices is an example of network separation. Okay, what do, how do you protect against the ROG DHCP server attacks by DHCP snooping? Okay, what does dynamic ARP inspection protect against? ARP man in the middle attack. If you know about ARP inspection, then you will get to know the answer. What kind of attacks I, does IP source guard protect against? The, this is IP spoofing attack, right? A reverse proxy is different from a proxy because a reverse proxy provides remote access which a, a forward proxy cannot provide. What underlying symmetric encryption cipher does WEP use? RC4 cipher, stream cipher. Okay, so what key lens does WEP encryption support? The WEP encryption support 64-bit and 128-bit. What's the recommended way to protect WPA2 network? The first one is using a long complex passphrase and the last one is unique SSID. These two will be the answer. Uh, if you are connected to a switch and your NIC is promiscuous mode, is in promiscuous mode, what traffic would be would you be able to capture? The traffic to and from my machine and the broadcast traffic. This two will be the answer. Uh, what could you use to sniff traffic on a switch? I can use port mirroring. What does PCMP dump do? You know that very well, right? Pack capture packets and analyzes them. Compared to TCMP dump, Wireshark has a much wider range of supported protocols. Right? Yes, the protocols will be your answer. A network intrusion detection system watches spot for potentially malicious traffic and trigger alerts when it detects an attack. A uh, question that we read a few moments ago, right? What does a network intrusion prevention system does when it detects an attack? It blocks them, right? Okay, so that's it. We already completed our week four. Because now we need to go for quick labs for our external graded assignment. First of all, you need to open the tool after the agreement. And the hyperlink will lead you to the Google course quick labs. And there, after pressing a start lab, they will give you an IP address and username. And you know what to do. Don't forget to download your EPK file, right? Which is very important for our assignment. Okay. Okay, so. You don't forget the putty configuration right so this is very important here yeah. so after opening the putty configuration you need to con copy your student or username and just paste it here and write at the right again copy your ip address and then paste your ip address okay so that's done uh, go to ssh authentication browse the ppk file you downloaded a few moments ago and press open it will take a few moments to open depending on your broadband connection okay so hit the yes so i'm telling you before starting this quick lab that's a little bit harder uh, rather than the previous quick lab so be careful and be uh, try to give your full concentration here because we need to open two dialog box right okay so first of all i want to say that in this dialog box when you enter a command you also need to finish up that command because if you don't finish that command this command will go forever it will never stop so that's why you need to read very carefully the instructions and you need to stop all of this command by pressing ctrl plus c okay you will see further when we are going to use so the first one is using tcmp dump okay so first of all you need to copy the first command okay so we are going to paste it here enter you see a few after a few moments the TCMP dump started. It will never end. It will go forever. So what you need to do is just Control C and see I have received 127 packets and 129 by filters and zero packets dropped by my kernel. Okay, so I have already stopped my TCMP dump. So now I will go for my second command. And as I already pasted it and also entered again, my command is started and it will not stop until I give it the give it the ending command so okay so what i should do Control c you see it will stop after a few moment okay so now we should move on to filtering okay so what is filtering so for filtering after we stopped the our previous command now we need to copy again the next command and just paste it enter so that's the important fact now what you need to do after pressing this command you need to hold for a second now if you read more carefully 
that you need to open second terminal right second terminal so how should you open second terminal now again you need to go to our putty file right so again after opening the putty file then you need to copy your student id paste at the rate of your ip address v paste ssh authentication again open the quick labs ppk open so that's the second terminal they are talking about so after opening the second terminal you should put it here and where's our first terminal that's our first terminal so this is there are two terminals side by side okay this is my first terminal and this is my second terminal so what i have need to do right now just copy the command and now put it on the second terminal right enter okay so now you see the magic that i have already got this output in my second terminal and this output in my first terminal and you can say where is the output right i should take it a little bit here okay so you can see whenever i'm there the cmp dump that's the output they are talking about right so we already get the output so now what we need to do we need to control plus c in both control plus c okay so i have i need to close my second terminal as my work is finished now i should continue my work in the first terminal okay so now i need to go for saving captured packet so paste the command enter okay so again you need to press control plus c it will stop okay so now co copy the next command enter you see there is a kind of html file they are shown again don't forget to control plus c okay so now our next command tcmp dump enter okay so there's a huge file html like so that's done you can see we have already so now we can check your progress yes your progress is checked so now you see 100 by 100 your score so now end the lab okay and don't forget to give give them the review right okay five star okay so that's all week four is done if you went then you will see your into the into the introducing tcmp dump is totally done so week four that's it so thank you for watching and please subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button if you want to get updated about the latest all week or week five and till then stay good stay home stay safe and see you later